Next up is a business capitalizing on a growing hobby. <laughs> Sharks, I'm Chet Byler from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. My company is Over Easy Chicken Coops, and this is my pal, Chuckles. <laughs> All right, Chuckles, you get in there. Lay me some eggs, would you? <laughs> All right. Sharks, it's no secret. America is crazy for backyard chickens right now. Families want more sustainable living and self-reliance, and they love having fresh, organic eggs every day. Plus, backyard chickens bring joy to families as kids and grandkids make lifelong memories caring for these adorable pets. That's why we created Over Easy Chicken Coops. Our proprietary modular coops are easy to ship and easy to assemble. All you need is 30 minutes, a screw gun, and two people to assemble your over easy coop. We offer four different sizes that perfectly accommodate between five and 20 chickens. America is so cuckoo for these coops that <laughs> we can hardly keep up with the demand. We're chickens running around with our heads cut off. <laughs> Sorry, Chuckles. <laughs> Sharks, I need a partner so I can finally stop having all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> so, who wants to acquire 4% of Overeasy Chicken Coops for an investment of $1 million? Oh! <laughs> Tell us why this and is worth $25 million. I mean, dollars. he's only four points away from for zero. First of all, our IP is locked down, and the cash register is ringing, and we've only just begun. We are on a path to become the category king for backyard chickens in America. And with your help, maybe, or anybody else who's interested, we will expand to Europe, where the interest in backyard chickens is even stronger than in the United States. Chet, you're one crazy chicken. What are these? Are we supposed to open these? Can I just say I opened the egg? I was all excited thinking I was gonna get something wonderful. <laughs> it is wonderful. I mean, it's nice, it's a little brochure, it talks about quick facts about your business. There is some golden information in there. Okay, so how much have you sold? Oh, you want numbers? I got numbers. This week, we surpassed 21 million in sales. Wow. Lifetime. wow. What? Lifetime wow. or last Lifetime. month? Lifetime. And oh. year to date, 9 million. Year yep. to date, and, yes, 9 year to date. million. And best of all, 1.35 million in profit. Which, if you do the math, you know our EBITDA is 15%. It should have been 18. Why wasn't it? Because of the supply chain issues that we had. Lumber prices, you know, went up fourfold. Yeah. True. Um, Chad, I was not expecting those kind of numbers. How are you selling nine million? Ah, it breaks my heart. We were not ready. COVID, it spiked big time. And we had the frustrating situation where we could not fill orders. We did not have enough coops. Got it. So we missed out on millions of dollars in sales. Despite that, 6.8 million in sales last year. Wow. How much did you net on that? Well, last year was about 12%. So going from 6.8 to nine through six months is a big step, mm -hmm. right? What are you even doing? What am I? Oh. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, I was trying to make sure I cover everything. And- Well, go ahead and make sure. There we go. I'm sorry. So how are you paying for all this inventory? I am here to raise money for more inventory. We're gonna need it. But have you raised money, and who are your partners, and how much of your company do you still own? I own 100%. Oh. Actually, I bought the company last June 30th, and that's when I owned 68%. I didn't tell you. I'm from the Amish country in Pennsylvania. Oh. But back to your question about COVID, we missed the COVID bump. Last year could have been well over 10 million if we hadn't had enough coops. I'd like to go back to the numbers. Just give me the last three years in revenue. 2019 was 2.2 million. 2020 was 6.8 million. Wow. This year we'll probably do 20 million. You got a big ramp going in here. That takes capital because there's a, there's a capex to this business. You got to make this stuff. How did you raise the money? So I had to do creative finance to support the POs and receivables. We were able to borrow against all the POs that we had. It all worked out great in the second quarter, paid everyone back. But now we're facing much greater opportunity along those lines. And that's one of the challenging things about this business. Chet, I've got to understand some basic things. So number one, I don't know what that costs. 
The large is $18.99, the medium is $14.99, and the small is $10.99. Our overall gross profit margins are about 36%. So COVID did have a heavy impact. It did part. have an so, impact. So on the one hand, you said it had a negative effect on you because you didn't have supply chain. We missed out. But you didn't miss out. That's right. <laughs> uh, All right, well, you get what I'm saying. You are suggesting that I was uh, inconsistent in my answer. Here's the thing. Yes, we missed the COVID bump. I, I swear we could have sold three, four million more last year when we did 6.8 million. It could have been 10 if we would have had enough coops. But now right. we have a factory set up in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We have one down in Dublin, Georgia, Central Georgia, and in Colorado. So we can hit the whole whole uh, country. So I would like you to answer for me in two sentences why Europe would want your coop more than the coops they have over there. Most of what's available in Europe and in the United States are frankly cheap imports. And we came up with this beautiful coop in a box. So, and it is selling big time. And already 700 units have sold. But back to Europe. What we know is that in Europe, they have backyard chickens more, but you're wondering how is it that we could compete in that market? Well, Same as no, here. Well, no, I, I said in two sentences. I mean, just being fair. When you're selling something, you need to be able to tell people in a couple of sentences what it is and why it's great. It's a knockdown, high quality coop. Quality is great, but it's not a strong enough differentiator. And unfortunately, I have to be out. What is the lifespan of a chicken? <laughs> Five to 10 years. My fear with going into business with you is it is gonna take me longer than the lifespan of a chicken to find out the details of your business. Now, I before you go out, I gotta talk to you about Europe. You didn't have me over here with Europe. You, you really catapulted me into not well, let me tell you this. Look, Robert, I, listen. The most valuable thing in my life is my time. I don't want to spend it learning about your business. I'm out. Okay, Chet, let me take a stab at it, all right? I love revenue. Yeah. I think your presentation uh, was a little wandering. Do you think? <laughs> but you got a lot of revenue here. I'll make you an offer. Um, I'll give you the million bucks in debt because you need capital. I'll take the 4% equity. And I want to pay back over three years. The average right now is 11.5%. That capital will let you do what you want to do stateside. I don't know what you're talking about in Europe, but that's your decision. I don't control the business. But that's an offer. At least you can peck on that one. <laughs> All right. A million bucks. And, you know, the added bonus is you get Mr. Wonderful, the shark, which could really help <laughs> blow this business up big time because I just love chicken. I like it with cream sauce. I like it roasted. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Check. Um, you're already cash constrained to Kevin's point, and now you want to go out and effectively have to build factories around the world starting in Europe because you can't just ship everything over there and somebody's going to have to make them. So you have the capital expense of doing that. A million dollars, whether it's debt or equity, isn't going to allow you to keep up with your growth. I think you're coming in talking overseas in Europe because you think that sounds good to us. I don't think you've really projected it out, so for those reasons, I'm out. You know, Chad, I. You're asking a million dollars for 4%. I think we all know here that, as you said, materials have just been... Brutal. Yeah, that's the problem. I think your margins are gonna shrink. Well, the materials came down. Yeah, they did. Yep, it's all settled now. They've come way down. I don't think it's settled. Our, our margins will go up. I believe the materials will still go up. And I don't like your valuation. So what valuation would make you comfortable? Because I'm here to help you make money. Damon, that's a good offer. <laughs> Throw out a number. 25%. Are you making an offer? Yeah, million dollars or 25%. Uh, let me see. You three are out. Yes, and you have you a have, real you offer. Have two, you have two I'm offers. bringing you back in. <laughs> let me explain. May I have two minutes to please explain something? I can't Don't very... speak to Ro Robert's out. out. I know, but I, I gotta tell him something. No, please don't. No, you should be talking to him. Why are you here? You you're doing him. exactly what he said. You're making it confusing. Right. Well, you're no, scaring us. Up. Damon, I want to hear what he was gonna say. Go ahead, Chad. Bear with me. I have gone to Europe many times because we were looking at expanding our business over there. So next week, I'm flying to Prague, and if they are interested, there's there's this amazing folks. And by the way, in the Czech Republic and in Eastern Europe, Chad, I just want to say one thing, guys. okay? One yes. thing. I can actually speak chicken. Yep. Those chickens are saying right now, Chad, why don't you get focused on the two offers? Okay. Instead of talking to a guy that's been out for 15 minutes. 
I'm gonna have to counter on yours. I want both you guys. I'd love to say yes to Mr. Wonderful there in terms of the debt doesn't bother me because we're so profitable, but I need to ask you one question. Yeah. There might be another million or two that we need in PO support that the banks won't give me. No, I understand. My answer is always the same to every entrepreneur. I support all my companies, okay? Yeah. Our interests are aligned. I want you to succeed. The answer is, of course, if you actually come in with business that makes sense and I can make more money with my 4%, I'm going to support you. That's what I do with all my entrepreneurs. You know, I'm not in love with your European strategy. I don't get it. There's, there's so much opportunity stateside. Yeah, particularly since you need cash for POs, right? You're not going to have any money left over for European expansion. Chad, I, I, I asked you not to ent entertain him, which, you know, you're, you're a grown man. You can do whatever you want, but you have two offers on the table and you just keep getting distracted. And I just got to say that I think that is exactly what it's going to be in business with you. So I like you, but I'm out. Well, then it's just the two of us, Mr. Wonderful. That's isn't right. It? For now. For now. <laughs> Do you want to get together in this or not? Mr. Wonderful, I want to say yes to your offer as long as you are going to support the other POs. I'm not guaranteeing you that right now because I don't know enough about your income statement and balance sheet. But I told you, I support my companies. The offer I'm making you right now is the million dollars. Oh, no, I'm accepting that. We have a deal. Well, then all right. forget all the rest then of the noise. Then what's the what? Yeah. Are you done? I just wanted to talk with Robert a little bit about our designs in <laughs> Eastern Europe. He's out. Get it. I want him to come back in. Come on, let me talk to him. Wait a second. Don't you want someone from Europe who has a passion for helping <laughs> create jobs he's behind? He's not really from Europe. He's been here a very long time. <laughs> Robert, been here a very long is time. Is Alan Fudd around here? Is this candy camera? What's going on? <laughs> all right, if you say so, but Robert, come on. I wanted us to do special things in Europe. Right. We could even chat. I'm with you. Chet, I'm out. Oh, really? I said yes, yes though. I yes, said yes, Kevin. Yes, I'm out. thank you. You do not understand when a guy offers you a million dollars, but then you start talking to a guy that's out. I th was the only shark to offer you a million dollars. The and only yes. one that was going to find your business after everybody else dropped out. And then you say, oh, no, I want to talk to Robert about Czechoslovakia. No, that is... <laughs> that, I just wanted to have that. I said yes to you. No, I'm out. I'm out. You got to go, Chet. Good luck, Good Chet. Good luck, Chet. Well, thank you. And I hope that uh, you'll enjoy Backyard Chicken someday if you want this. Have a good day. Bye, Chet. Well, it looked like I had a shark, but then he swam away. <laughs>